Traders everywhere, we've got an exciting video for you today because we are showing you the all new capabilities of seasonality on TradingView. Now, as you can see here, I have got a chart open of Tesla TSLA. And let's say, for example, it's the start of 2025, and I want to learn more about how Tesla trades at the start of specific years. Well, there are two ways to do this. I'm on the chart. I can go over to my watch list details and news menu and click. And now I've got this details menu here, which I can fully customize. In this video, I'm going to actually have this take up the entire screen here, not even looking at my watch list. Let's just look at this details menu. I'm even going to pull this out to make it a little larger so you can really see what's possible here. Now I'm going to scroll my mouse down and get to some really interesting data points like earnings and dividends and income statements. But as you see, as I go down, there is a seasonality display right here. Now I'm going to show you how you can understand this seasonality seasonality display. So you've got these lines here, right? Well, let's talk about these specific lines. Each line represents a year. So as you can see here at the bottom, we've got this purple color, this sort of fuchsia color, and this red. So the purple color is 2023. So if you were ever curious about how Tesla traded in 2023, look no further. It's right here in front of you. It's this purple color. Now here's 2024. Recall, this is the start of 2025. So 2024 is last year. Well, here's how Tesla traded last year. So just like that, I can see the last two years related to this chart. And what's so interesting here is I have clearly got two very random and interesting directions. Will Tesla follow a bullish direction like it did in 2023, the purple line? Or will it be more of a bearish direction before it rebounds like it did here at the 2024 line or this sort of pink fuchsia line? With seasonality, you can analyze this, especially as the year gets started or when quarters start. So you can actually see there's these dotted lines here through the middle. Well, that's how you can very easily visualize the start of new quarters. So you could hover your mouse over the start of the quarter right here, and then track how Tesla traded at the start of that quarter, come back to your chart and do your research as needed. Now there's a lot more here, so buckle up because this is about to get very, very interesting. Now, what's really cool about this feature is the button says more seasonals. So go ahead and click more seasonals. And now you are really going to see a beautiful visual about all of the seasonal data for the asset you are looking at, in this case, Tesla. And you have customizations as well over this. So what's really great about this tool, as you can see, we've got this this slider here. Well, this is pretty powerful because you essentially are telling the TradingView platform how many years you want to see. Now, I just dragged this slider all the way back to 2010. That means when we look at this seasonals chart, we've got every year right here displayed as one line since Tesla was really beginning to trade in 2010. So just by looking at that, you get a feel for its average movements. Its most bullish year ever was 2020. Look at this 720% rise. You can see all of this wonderfully right here on the chart. Now, if you wanna shrink it to focus on more specific years, do as I'm doing here. I'm clicking and holding and then dragging the slider to the year I want and then letting go of my click and it sets. So if I wanted to view all of the Tesla trading data since 2016, I drag it, let go, and here it is right before my eyes. Now it gets even better than that because you can also remove specific dates. So let's just say, for example, you wanted to see how Tesla traded under a new administration from 2016 to 2020. Well, you could drag your mouse here to 2020 and let go drag your mouse here to 2016 and let go. Now I'm only looking at how Tesla traded from 2016 to 2020. Scroll down. I've got four lines here. After all, it's four years, 2020, 2017, 2019, 2018, 2016. So I can very quickly see how Tesla traded within all of these, all of these years. I can also see the performance, 720%, 43%, 39%, 40%, 50%, 
34%, 3.8%, minus 4%. So you can also beautifully see the performance as well. So this is now available to you on TradingView. These are the seasonality tools, and you're probably already seeing just how powerful this is because this is just an example of Tesla, but I want to make sure I show you other specific assets as well. Now, one quick thing that is important about this page is that you know about these features that are coming to the page and are already available to you. So as you can see, it says percentage. Well, that's just what it sounds like. You're tracking the percentage gain of each year. If I click this percentage to turn it off, now I'm actually looking at the raw pricing data. How did Tesla trade? in that specific price range, not based on a percentage. Now, you might not believe it, but yes, Tesla was once $16 a share, so you can really see the data squished down here because look at the price scale all the way up to 440 all the way down to 16 even 14 So you might want to adjust it then to actually fit these years when this asset was traded at a lower price because ultimately, you want to really visualize what's going on here. And now we've done just that. We are only looking at 2010 through 2013, and we've got this beautiful visual right here. In fact, you can really see the breakout now in 2013. So pretty cool that you have the ability to look at the either the raw pricing data, but keep in mind it might squish some of the years down if the price scale gets large, or the percentage. Now I'm going to extend this back to encapsulate every single trading year, even the current start of 2025. That's this blue line that you can see right there. And just remind you as well, there's this great take a snapshot button. So if you click take a snapshot, you can share this seasonality with anyone across X, open a new tab, copy a link, copy an image, download the image. You have the freedom to share this image quickly just by clicking chart snapshot and grabbing this image as a really nice visual. Okay, this is the seasonality tools that I wanted to kick this presentation off with. But now we're going to go deeper, head back to tradingview.com and show you some other really powerful tips and features that you want to know about. Now, as you can see, I have moved over to tradingview.com because I want to show you how this looks on the symbol page which is really just another great resource. And I'm going to go through another asset class. In this case, let's look at futures. And let's especially now click the search box and look at crude oil futures. And rather than launching the chart, we're going to click see overview. And now here we are on the light crude oil futures page. Now, what's really interesting here, as you know, is crude oil is definitely impacted by seasonality simply because of weather changes, weather patterns, demand during different seasons, maybe hurricanes, all types of events like that. And when you get to the futures page of your choice, pay attention to the seasonals tab right here. So you're on the light crude oil futures page, but you could be on the Tesla page. You could even be on a crypto page, any page. If you see the seasonals button, click it, and you will now be entered into another really nice looking seasonals chart that looks just like this. Now, it's important to keep in mind that many of the same features that I briefly just showed you while on the chart are also available here. You can find the slider once again so that you can pick the specific seasonality you want to visualize. And also, of course, you can change it away from percentage to the actual nominal price and also grab a snapshot as well. So if we look at crude oil here, very interesting. Let's just go back here to 2022. Check this out. As you can see, two out of the last three years, essentially, there has been a large rise here from the start of the year into about March and or April. So this purple line here, which is 2022, and then this pink fuchsia line, which is 2024, both got off to hot starts. And look at here, 2025, the blue line, already up 4% since start of the, start of the year, seems to be following a similar path. But you must also keep in mind that 2023, the opposite happened. It actually languished for the first part of the year until it caught a bit. It looks like up here, we can see it was up some, let's see, 21% at one point in September. But nevertheless, this is how you can utilize this tool. Go ahead and pick your years and start analyzing. Now, if we go back to 2020, you may remember that year when crude oil went actually negative. So you might want to remove that from the data set just to make this visual a little easier to follow 
and visualize. So this is how you can use this with the symbol search. And keep in mind what makes this particularly nice is you can go through all of the symbols that are of interest to you. Here's your E-mini S&P 500 futures. Click see overview tap seasonals. Let's get a feel for how the current year started based off of this blue line here relative to the last few years. So 2023 and 2024 essentially got off to really hot starts from the get-go. But ladies and gentlemen, look at 2022. It started down and essentially that was the trend for the entire year. Check this out. This blue line here is 2025 are we starting the year in a similar manner to that now you know what to expect you've got some historical precedent you've got two different options to pick from if you wanted to zoom back further to 2020 you could do that as well to get a feel for some of the other years here but the whole point is that you can very quickly go through the symbol search be on the symbol page click seasonals and do the research from there as well now, I'm going to go back to the super charts because, yes, there is more to this tutorial about seasonality. Okay, now I'm back here on the S&P 500 futures. I'm looking specifically on a, at a chart. I've actually got a few levels mapped out here as this sort of trading action unfolds. And I think it's helpful for you to see just the levels I have mapped out as an example of how you might think through a similar process. And that is the simple fact that if you go up to your indicators, metrics, and strategies menu, and then search for seasonals, what you're going to notice is there is a seasonality technique technical indicator. Now I'm going to click this to have it added to my chart, but also keep in mind that there is a show description button, which we can click. And we've got a full walkthrough here about seasonality, including how this indicator works and different ways to utilize this or to customize it to your needs. Also, you've now got this video that I am recording at this moment to utilize as well. Now, what you'll notice here is this new window has opened up and we have got a seasonality window right before our eyes. In fact, this seasonality window utilizes the tables feature in PineScript to show us a breakdown by each month going back several years. So now you've got many different ways to access seasonality on TradingView, not just utilizing the seasonal visuals that were being shown to you throughout the start of this video. As you recall, watch this details and news. Here's your seasonals or seasonals, but also now this table graphic, which is going to zoom in and dive in even more, giving you all the data you need essentially about the different years and how that symbol trades. Now, what's really great about this is you can just type in any symbol that you wish. Let's go ahead and do Bitcoin US dollar. And just like that, we've now got Bitcoin US dollar right here before our eyes in the seasonal breakdown. So we can see how Bitcoin is traded each month going back several years. And keep in mind, there's some pretty important data here that you're going to want to watch, which is you've got your averages, meaning it's averaging all of these monthly data going back several years and showing it to you at the bottom here. So now you know the averages. So for example, did you know that Bitcoin actually is averaging a minus 1.69% drop in the month of January on average going back to 2015? We can see that standard deviation and we can even see the percentage of time that it is red. So what's really interesting is despite the fact that January is generally a red month, don't forget February, as you can see here, plus 15% is generally green. So maybe if you want to utilize this as a way to place a trade or think through an investment, perhaps it's stay away in January, get involved in February. That might be a concept to follow. Now, this is also a really wonderful indicator because if you click the settings menu, you've really got the ability now to customize this just like you could on the other seasonality visuals, but this time in the table format. So maybe Bitcoin going back to 2015 is just simply too much data. Let's change that to 2021. Let's not do 2020. Let's get COVID out of this and take a look. The seasonality graphic has fully adjusted to show us since 2021. And of course, the data now has changed as well. Actually, January is a green month since 2021. Let's go ahead and double click again and just go through some of these customizations. You've got your positive color here, your negative color. That's very standard. If 
the asset is green in a specific month and year, it's just going to be shown as green or red. It's going to be shown as red. But if you wanted to make a visual that was just sort of, you know, different, slightly more interesting to you, well, you could do that as well and just change the color accordingly. What's also nice is you've got this color intensity. Now, color intensity is a super important thing to understand when utilizing this indicator because you want the big and extreme months to really pop. So this minus 35% is fairly red. This minus 1% is a little bit darker. The whole point is you want to catch the big moves, the big months. What happened there? Is this something that could continue? Looks like May is actually historically been rather red for Bitcoin, but you can change this color intensity. Let's go all up to 50% just to really show you a big difference so that it essentially is updating based off of how extreme the move was and making the colors lighter or darker to fit your needs. If we do 5%, you're probably going to see some brighter action here. And if you work with this tool enough, you will find the perfect color intensity cutoff for you. Now, as we go down here, a few very important aspects is that you can position this table as needed. So one important thing, depending on the size of your monitor or what, uh, how you have your screen set up, you might want to adjust the table. You can see it's moving ever so slightly here off to the left or right. Your table width is essentially a way for you to compress the the data as needed. And then actually you might find that you can move the chart in the screen a little bit better. So let's go to how about 85%. And now you can see we've created a seasonality indicator that fits within the chart a little differently. If we double click here, we've got a whole lot more because table height, just what it sounds like. How tall do you want this to be in the specific chart that you have. Now you have your averages, standard deviations, percent positive. Maybe standard deviation isn't exactly something you want to visualize. Maybe it is. You can customize that as needed. As we scroll down, now this is pretty cool and unique. You can actually type in some specific ignored months. So for example, right in the months, hover your mouse over this, in the year month format, separated by commas, and you can ignore them entirely. So if we, for example, think that this May data here in 2021 was just a little too extreme and we want to adjust it accordingly well we can do just that and what we're going to do now is effectively skip it or remove it from the data it says skip look how the average has changed i'm actually just going to now delete this so you can just see it change back now let's watch it go back to See here, look, there we go, minus 35%, now minus 11%. So your customizations here are just fantastic for doing seasonality research. And now it's up to you to go try this out and get involved. Keep in mind, it's across all symbols that you are interested in. Hey, if you were looking at orange juice futures and wanted to track seasonality, maybe the colder months are harsher on orange juice futures than the hotter months, well, You've got that data right here. In fact, we can even see here in 2024, look at June, a relatively hot month was its worst month. The year before, June was its second worst month. These are the type of insights you can gather as you get better and better at using this feature. So thanks so much for watching. We hope that all of this data helps you out. I'm Steph. You can find me on TradingView. I record many helpful videos for everyone here on TradingView so that you can get to know this platform super well and that you always know there's a tool for you to perform your best research. Thanks for watching this deep dive and let us know if you have any questions or comments. And always remember, our Help Center has a lot of educational material in it. Go check it out.